I'm a 17 year old serial entrepreneur, a big data analyst and a published researcher. Was it easy to get here? Oh, certainly not. But there is good news. I think I finally know how I have been able to get here. Let me take you back to the time when I was about 13 years old. At the age of 13, well, hold on, wait a second. Maybe I should start a little earlier than this too. From the time I was a young boy, um, I really, I was really passionate about technology. I know a lot of you are wondering right now, isn't 13 or 17 young enough to? Well, it certainly is. Um, talking about the time when I was about five or six years old, I started a journey, a journey to make sure that technology is used more than ever for the right reasons. In continuation to this, at the age of 13, I started my first venture called Tech Apto. This was after I was feeling a little uncomfortable sitting in my comfort zone. Tech Apto was an ICT, it still is an ICT offering for which builds, designs and deploys and manages also technology system for the education and learning industry. Tech Apto was selected out of top uh, 600 startups in India, made it to top 40, which translated to about top 10 in Delhi NCR back in 2013. I had a vision for, I had a vision for uh, education technology, but I could realize that something was missing. Even being named the youngest CEO in India wasn't enough to convince everyone that I had something going on there. I had something which was correct. I had, I was on a mission to improve technology, but no one was willing to listen to me. And that's when I had to, I could realize that, you know, something was missing. When I realized something was missing, I still continued on that journey. And uh, I kept working on Tech Apto. I kept building and implementing path breaking ideas that could, that spoke more than my age and people eventually started to take me seriously but I don't think that was enough and even when I knew something was missing I only found out what was missing in 2015. One day coming back from a regular class I saw a couple of tires burning by the side of the road 200 meters past same situation and when I saw those fumes rising I could realize that the environmental impact of this could be very disastrous. I, I was a little disappointed, I returned home and being inquisitive I searched and I searched hours to days, days to months and I was only left disappointed because no systems were in place. That was the birth of Tire Leslie. Tire Leslie is now India's first tires to trees company which has an environmentally compliant end of life tire collection service, disposal and energy recovery, material recovery service. What really changed here was that I found out that there's something called faith and I know all of you are looking at me right now wondering if my talk is going to take a religious twist. Not really. Faith in its simplest terms is just trust or belief. Even trusting that what I'm doing is probably correct. I'm going on the correct path and something in the future is going to lead me where I want to be. That's what my faith was. I know a lot of you have heard a lot of times that the power of change rests in your hand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they are absolutely correct. Each one of them are absolutely correct. Each one of us have the power to revolutionize everything that's there around us. But there is a challenge right now. There's a big problem right over our heads. Everything that's going around the simple idea that uh, faith is a big problem, that we, are, we have stopped trusting ourselves, that is not even the biggest problem. The biggest problem right now is that despite all the growth and in spite of all the growth and uh, the fact that we have revolutionized all systems around us, we are on a collision course. Because we are focusing too much on building unsustainable products. The only way forward is sustainable development. Sustainable development is the only way we stand a chance. So what is sustainable development? Sustainable development is meeting present needs in ways that do not impair future generations and other species from meeting their needs. Sustainable development rests on three pillars, social, economic and environment. Recently, we have started to agree that good governance goes along with this. On the other hand, technology is a tool with mind-blowing potential. 
we with the power of technology have become great communicators better learners informed decision makers technology is a tool that can unlock the success for our generation so i propose that sustainable development is always backed with technology nowadays whenever i move out of the house i i go out with the, with one mission a mission to make sure that i find out something that i can change positively well i'm certainly not a person who's always negative in thinking about um, problems that's not my thing is just that i want to improve my understanding of where my expertise in a certain field can help provide solutions that are environmentally safe economically viable and help reduce the social inequality gap with obviously the incorporation of technology we guys have an entrepreneurial mindset these days all of us are encouraged to think something new something different because of something i hear and that's why i spoke to you about my first venture called tech apro then i spoke to you about tirelessly which is my most recent venture now i'm going to talk to you about something big that is coming i want to tell describe to you how sustainable development revolution has the potential to change everything if we challenge if we put resources to the right sustainable use how everything can change this is my next big mission and guys trust me this is a secret so please <laughs> it's called aqualome it's a proprietary engineer technology that can modify environmental conditions biologically so at aqualome we will be trying to train friendly microorganisms to eat contaminants over 120 million hectares of land which is considered degraded affects about 800 million indians directly and about 300 million of our population indirectly consequences of this includes reduction in agricultural output chronic damages in terms of portable water and obviously problems with health but aqualome is going to be the game changer a bottle this size could have theoretically have the power to influence um a 10 km radius in the terms a lot of people a lot of people living in a 10 km radius and change their soil and water conditions forever we are going to drink soil and water samples from across the country mission india is for everyone we are going to map the entire country over the next couple of years that this aqualum is going to be a revolution and we want everyone to be a part of it and that's why we are encouraging community participation from technology experts to financial experts to researchers there's a role for everyone in this big movement in that terms this is the new era of startups where community participation is key in this terms you know i'm sure all of you have heard of in the term called investment and you related with something called money all of us relate investment with simply and simply money but investment let me tell you that investment is something bigger than this your personal investment is actually time and that is your biggest investment for anyone for me for you for anyone and ever there is and our biggest investment is time and when we are asking you to contribute towards our goal it's in the sense that we want to make the most out of your big investment your time is going to go into doing a lot of things with the power of technology we can make soil and water health cards which is in line with our prime minister's mission electronically make them available for citizens all across the country solving the agricultural problem the water problem the waste problem we will also be using the data you help us get you provide to map the problem that we have currently with soil and water aqualome is a revolution and this i i was talking about aqualome only to give you context what resources used in sustainable way along with technology can do they can do a lot more than we can have ever imagined the biggest problem right now is that we are using resources unsustainably and the biggest solution to this is that we start using we start using sustainable development methods for growth instead of the traditional methods